Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, not your local weather today, but it's quite chilly here with us. I think it was about uh, two or three degrees shortly ago. So don't worry, you're not on your weather station. But that's why I'm padded up here like a polar bear uh, in the Southern Pole. Uh, jacket, another fleecy jacket, a jersey. Not that that helped much. T-shirt. So we, we're ready for today. And I hope you learned something about uh, a series of the case length trimmers that we're going to do today. So what I'm, I'm having here is the Sudami uh, case length trimmer. It's, it's a very, it's, it's, it's not a, a, a very complex trimmer. It consists of a shaft and that shaft has uh, three uh, cutting blades uh, on them and it goes right back in here again and that's it and now we can and this is the uh, the the knurled knob that uh, just keeps it tight once you've got it at a specific uh, a, a length so let me just get this one straight in okay so here you've got the uh, the case uh, body uh, that's now set up so it's got the shaft that's still fairly loose and uh, we will sort that out okay uh, what you get with this is the the body itself and then you get inserts there on the front of the insert on this specific one it says 306 so that 306 insert goes right in in the front there you go and then that's it and then your 306 uh, case will fit in there and uh, you can uh, you'll, if through here you can see where your uh, blade will stop against the uh, case itself or uh, if you have to adjust a little bit you can use this as an adjustment to take them out sometimes it's a little bit of a tricky story because it's quite a tight fit so i just use a, a long nose plier and there you go so that one is out and so we carry on here with there's a 303 which i've got um that's a 260 remington uh, there's a 338 lapua that one is a, a 260 uh, atlee improved this one here is a, a standard 260 there's the 375 H&H, &H, and then there's a 243 Atlee Improved, which I'm going to demonstrate to you today, because I've got uh, a whole box full of them. You, you can see them. And um, to come back to the uh, a lifetime of a brass after you've cleaned them, now I've cleaned these in my solution uh, with the stainless steel pins, and that is what they look like after about three years i haven't reloaded these for about three years you know so um uh, you know so they still you know fairly fairly nice and and, and bright and there you can uh, can see what 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 that looks like um just on the other hand on the same thing if you remember about well a couple of lessons ago uh, we've cleaned uh, the 308 brass there's the uh, the 308 brass and and that is that is what it looks like after i would say it was close to two or three or f even four months uh, that i've cleaned these and they are still uh, clean and there's no tarnishing on them you know so uh, if you do things uh, that works for you uh, no one is stopping you doing it uh, whatever you do uh, but that is what really worked for me and i'm i'm quite quite happy with that so to start off with this one so uh, here you can see very very clear on the front there is uh, it's marked there the 243 ai so that's for the atlee improved uh, so that one goes in also it's a little bit cold and it's a little bit tight but there you go so that one is in there now here's my it doesn't now this one needs cleaning but this is my 243 atlee my master uh, case so that one i will use it fits in there and if you look in the through the hole over here uh, you'll see there is the the mouth coming through 
just just so it's a just uh, uh, through the holder and the holder here itself uh, keeps the brass fairly tight uh, so it's it's got the same shape as the the case and then that's it so now it's a question of uh, we adjust it so uh, I, I hold you know the brass in and with a with a knurled nut and you just turn it until okay so there you can see um, it's it's touching so what I need to do is to in that position you fasten the uh, allen keys here on the side these two allen side uh, allen keys one on each uh, side here and um, then the cutter is, is locked in now this you can uh, turn in there uh, for later for uh, a finer adjustment uh, on this and it's running smooth so it's uh, not being cut so this is my uh, my sample over there um, to start off with this one then to cut this one you need old faithful again here yeah. and this is my uh, uh, hand uh, drill or my hand um, battery cordless drill and that's it and now I cut my length according to that one over there okay and if you look now closely I'm going to try and bring it as close to po as possible to you over here uh, to the lens uh, there you'll see the uh, the bright uh, neck over there so it's been cut to that specific length and according to my my sample over there so this is a very 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 quick way of cutting hundreds of pieces of brass and they cut them fairly fairly perfect uh, you might get one that's maybe about uh, 0.1 uh, micron out but uh, that's that's nothing so that's it you know so yeah if we go again for the next one it's done and so for the next one um, and there it's done you know so it's really a very 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 quick and simple uh, method of of doing it and all of them it just touches the the mouth and it's done that one has a little bit more to go so i can feel it so that one is also done so the rest of them and so you can carry on uh, with this principle now if i bring this closer to you you'll see the shavings that comes off is really minimal if you do the adjustment right there's the couple of shavings in the middle lying there um, so uh, there's a it, you don't take off a lot but you have to cut your brass to length uh, as I've discussed in the previous lesson uh, that it's important one of the most important things so that your brass does not catch that critical corner in your chamber where it will start curling around your, your, your uh, bullet itself okay so uh, that is the uh, the Sudami one like I say it's it's uh, there's basically nothing more to to talk about uh, this one uh, for every uh, caliber or for every cartridge you get one of the uh, inserts and um, you make a, a, a standard reference uh, case and and that's it so uh, so much for Sudami uh, I like this one um, it came out uh, a couple of years ago that he started making them in South Africa. I know the guy uh, very good, El Tchari de Beer, uh, and uh, this is, is one of his in inventions that he's done here. Uh, there are similar uh, pr products that look uh, almost identical that's available on the American market, but this is a pure South African brand, and uh, I'm really, uh, you know, proud that some of our South Africans have got the ingenuity to uh, to do something and make something like this that's comparable with the best in the world. So this is the Sudami and I'm going to give you a couple of minutes just to 
let this sink in a little bit and then we're going to do an unveiling of uh, the Frankfurt Arsenal uh, Universal uh, Cutter and then you can see uh, the similarities and also differences between uh, the two uh, of these. So give us a second or two and then we will be uh, back. <laughs> 